Study IQ has completed 10 years and this is the 10th foundation day of Study IQ. Tomade Jono Study IQ near share the Sal Bemi Sal offer because Study IQ is known as a brand which talks about affordable education and also a quality education. Also, not only we are giving extra discount under it, but also with that double validity to meter under a pacho. So hurry up, purchase the course and ramp up your state civil service preparation. Hello and welcome to Study IQ's initiative on WBCS. Today we will discuss August 2024 current affairs and we will try to look into the type of MCQs we will get. Protita news jokon amra discuss korbo, we will try to understand kerokon ekhen teke tomar prelims and mens MCQ as the pare. For solving more MCQs and AJ, it is a PPT PDF, it is download kora jodo, log into the Telegram and then you can visit my channel which is t.me slash kinkini upsc, okay. And also you will get more MCQs here. Also what you will get is current related updates okay so please subscribe this and so that you get more and more information so without wasting the time we would start with it fine so state visit of prime minister of vietnam to india now india has actually resorted to a policy of look east we are looking to the east why to increase our cooperation in the field of open free stable Indo-Pacific, right? So, it is a strategic move. It is the economy is definitely a part of it. Why? Because whenever we see international politics, one of the major factors which decides international politics is definitely economics. Fine? Because the economy is the base structure and other things, the polity, the environmental perspective, the social perspective, even the ethical perspective, into depends on the economy. Now, Vietnam Prime Minister Phum Minh Ching arrives in India on a three-day visit. This is the news. You may be asked about the PM's name because he has visited India. That is the thing. Now, Vietnamese Prime Minister Phum Minh Ching arrived in New Delhi in a three-day visit aimed at deepening the strategic ties between India and Vietnam. Whenever we see this, this is somewhat related to military or to security okay so why we want a security cooperation because of the presence of china in the waters of the pacific and indian ocean so what is china basically trying to do and why is vietnam fearful because china wants to occupy what the south china sea so south china sea is somewhat near the borders of china and also vietnam to direct border so, this is a place where China wants to assert its position. But why? As I said, economy is the base. So, economy perspective, what do you Because South China Sea has a lot of reserves of what? It has a lot of reserves of hydrocarbons, firstly. Second, also a lot of fisheries. So, you see that is why by using different tactics, China is trying to assert its position here. Now, that will be beyond the scope that we discuss everything related to the hegemony of China. Now, let's look into it. So, where is basically Vietnam? So, you see this is the position of Vietnam and Ho Chi Minh City is the capital of Vietnam. So, moving from India, so you have the first border country is Myanmar. Then after that Myanmar, you have Thailand, Cambodia, then Vietnam. And actor country that are landlocked in the Southeast Asia is Laos. Please do remember it again the question asked This is a geography related question of world map. One country Southeast Asia the landlocked it is none other than Laos. Okay. So this is the part of South China Sea and China shot is a problem both Vietnam and Philippines are the parcel islands and the Spartly islands. China is trying to claim its position here. China on an erratic way to its claiming like historical perspective other things. So right now we will not go into that because that will be beyond the scope. So Proshna Aste Pare Tomar Act of Prime Minister of Vietnam. Second, you may get the question that South China Sea Kon Kon countries ke border goes here. So that you have to look into that is Vietnam, Malaysia, Philippines, China. Okay, so you have to have an idea. 
Also, your homework is to look into the East China Sea. And China are car problem with respect to the East China Sea. Which country is it? So, look into that. Next part is National Apprenticeship and Training Scheme NATS 2.0 portal. So, the government has released 100 crore stipends for this purpose. So, it is basically thing we have to understand so the central education ministry jeta ke aage bola to ministry of human resource development right now it's renamed as this and it has launched the nats 2.0 portal so this is basically an upskilling scheme so what it will do different je prospecting candidates such a ke skill debe with a lot of knowledge so that is the main aim so why because if you want to get job it is very imperative that you have proper skill set keladi Terracotta pipelines unearth at Keladi. So, let's see this in Shivganga district and it's in Karnataka. So, here what we have seen that we have terracotta pipelines. So, this is a very old time Jokhon the camera dekchi and terracotta pipeline getting discovered in Keladi. Key proof kocha that this site was urban or urbanized okay so proto urbano bolte paro tumi eta ke because when you have pipelines that means proper drainage system was envisaged by the culture there okay now quota within quota approved in supreme court reservation so the supreme court overturned a 20 year old decision re regarding the reservation quota and now it is saying that it will be providing quota within reservation for scheduled tasks so, why? Because see, they, say for example, under schedule cast, there are two type of schedule cast. One is ABC, one is XYZ. Now, ABC has appropriated the most of the advantages of quota, but the XYZ could not. So, to provide quota reservation to XYZ, quota within quota is necessary. Jerukum tumar OBC is aache, right? OBC A, OBC B, or you have the creamy, non creamy layer, all these things. So, the Supreme Court has laid down a condition for the state government not to give 100% quota to any one caste within the schedule caste. Mane, you should not give 100% to ABC or a generalist 100% but rather divide it. Jara beshi pidi to, jara beshi backward, tadir ke aage deya ho. However, before deciding the quota of any caste included in the schedule caste, there should be a solid evidence for it. That tada shotti pichra hua jati, you have to substantiate it okay that they couldn't appropriate the advantages of the quota system the cast of schedule cast which have been left out can be given reservation by creating a quota for them okay so exclusive quota Mane kero kom, dharo tumi job e dekcho, most of the people under the sc reservation are from the abc cast but you see that only 10 percent are from xyz whereas 90 percent are from abc so age 10 percent this we have to increase and that is why we may give a quota of 80 90 percent to xyz and only 10 percent to abc so that is the thing it is talking about but definitely at a corner again state age scheduled cast as it other character segregate core you have to have an analysis and statistics okay hydro pumped storage plants approved so let's look into this so in the two states basically orissa and karnataka we have resorted to hydro power this saravati pump storage plant first and the upper indravati pump storage plant that will be in orissa saravati is in karnataka Tumieta pete pado the river indravati is in which state it attempts to the river sharavati is in which state second thing you may get here is that where is the origin of the Indravati river? Where is the origin of the Sharavati river? So, these two MCQs are imperative you can get. So, who has done it? The Central Electric Authority has approved setting up of two hydropower pumps in the Saravati and Indravati river. H1N1 deaths. So, this is an important thing because this year we have not only seen the swine flu which is H1N1 virus but also avian flu at large scale especially in the state of jharkhand which is the bordering state of west bengal so avian influenza bird flu on a death samla dekhechi in the state of jharkhand this year and that is why both h1n1 and the avian influenza virus becomes important so punjab gujarat haryana top the list with h1n1 deaths so just try to understand that what is the h1n1 so this is known as swine flu it is the type of influenza a virus 
সো একটা হতে পারে এইচ ওয়ান এন ওয়ান কি অপশনে ধরো থাকলো হচ্ছে সোয়াইন ফ্লু দেন ইউ নো ইট অ্যান্ড আদারওয়াইজ ইউ মে গেট অ্যান অপশন যে এটা হচ্ছে ইনফ্লুয়েঞ্জা এ টাইপ ভাইরাস দ্যাট ইজ অলসো কারেক্ট ঠিক আছে অ্যান্ড এখানে ধরো সিতে থাকলো বোথ এ অ্যান্ড বি সো ইউ মাস্ট নো দ্যাট বোথ আর কারেক্ট দেন হু হ্যাজ ডিক্লেয়ার এইচ ওয়ান এন ওয়ান ফ্লু অ্যাজ আ প্যান্ডেমিক ইন দি ইয়ার অফ টু জিরো জিরো নাইন দু হাজার ন সালে বহুত অ্যামাউন্টে সোয়াইন ফ্লু হয়েছিল অ্যান্ড লট অফ পিপল ডায়েড অলসো দি ইনফ্লুয়েঞ্জা ভাইরাস ইজ লাইক এইচ ওয়ান এন ওয়ান বেসিক্যালি ইনফেক্ট দি সেল অফ দি নোজ থ্রোট অ্যান্ড লাংস অ্যান্ড দেন ইট স্প্রেডস টু দি এয়ার সো এটা এয়ার বোর্ন হিউম্যান টু হিউম্যান এয়ার বোর্নেও এটা স্প্রেড হতে পারে অলসো সোয়াইন ফ্লু সিন্স ইট ইজ নেমড ইট ইজ এ জুনোসিস জুনোটিক ডিজিজ মানে পিক্স এর থেকে হিউম্যান্সের হয় ডাইরেক্ট মোড অফ কমিউনিকেশন ইজ নট প্রপারলি নোন মোস্টলি এয়ার বোন কিংবা যদি কোনো পিগের ধরো এইচ ওয়ান এন ওয়ান থাকে সোয়াইন ফ্লু তার যে বডিলি ফ্লুইডস সেটা টাচ করে দেন ইফ আই টাচ মাই নোজ ইফ আই টাচ মাই মাউথ সেটা থেকেও কিন্তু হতে পারে ঠিক আছে সো রেসপিরেটারি ইনলেস কাইন্ড অফ ইটি ঠিক আছে ওকে লেগিওনিয়র্স ডিজিজ সো সি অস্ট্রেলিয়াজ ভিক্টোরিয়া হ্যাজ অ্যাকচুয়ালি রিপোর্টেড সেভেন্টি ওয়ান কেসেস সো হোয়াট ইজ বেসিক্যালি লেগিওনিয়র্স ডিজিজ সো আ ওমেন অলসো ডায়েড অফ দিস ডিজিজ so this is a bacteria bone disease legionella bacteria and where does it grow warm water tar mane hocche tropical countries equator and equator er ashe pashe je countries tader kintu eta theke ekta bhoy thakbe because ekhane warm condition humid condition and the bacteria grows more now you see the causes by breathing in mist from the contaminated water sources such as hot tubs that are not cleaned hot water heaters plumping services cooling towers and other stagnant pools of water so again this is also airborne risk jara tomar ektu age that is 50 years plus jada immunity is bit i mean not very good and the treatment is definitely antibiotics and if it is very high then i mean uh, broad spectrum antibiotics like colistin may be used what are the symptoms let's see fever is definitely there you have chills cough shortness of breath all these things and over the time pneumonia can develop and the person may die okay so let's see people who were in news first woman dg of army medical services very important lieutenant general sadhana saxena has been appointed as the dg of army medical services and she is the first woman to hold this post sadhana is the second woman medical officer of the air force to reach the rank of air marshal okay but as a doctor she as a doctor i mean dg of the army medical services she is the first woman okay but she is the second one to reach the rank of air marshal okay look into her picture so that you remember it better and tum yakhon answer likcho in your optional because this year we are having answer writing in optional hoy to 25 2025 er je mains thakbe shekhane hoy to gs may also become subjective you can quote this type of things when you are writing something related to social issues women empowerment right because this is a fact jekhane she is not only getting empowered but also overall looking at her and as her as an example others will also get empowered okay priti sudan appointed upsc chairperson now you know there is a issue with respect to the puja khetkar appointment as a, the into the civil services and then the actually the uh, upsc chairperson resigned and right now Priti Sudan has been appointed as the chairperson of UPSC. So, this question is asked. Yes, and she has replaced Manoj Soni. Okay, so Baki, you can look. She has also contributed in the Beti Bachao Beti Padhao, Ayushman Bharat Mission, all these things. Okay, Vikash Lekhada took over as Assam Rifles DG. So, there is nothing much to read here. Just remember that because Assam Rifles, you know, Assam Rifles could have worked on basically the border of India and the part of Myanmar. Right? so myanmar and india northeast je border shekhane assam rifle is deployed is it a uh, army is it a military force no it's a paramilitary force okay it's a paramilitary force fine okay indian air force wing commander shubhanshu shukla so it's very good to know shubhanshu shukla will be the prime astronaut for the gangayan mission so recently shubhanshu shukla has been selected for the joint space mission of isro and american space agency of nasa okay so before we go into the gangayan mission which will be a orbital mission where three astronauts from india will go into the space 
তার আগে আমাদের এটার জন্য কিছু টেস্ট করতে হবে অ্যান্ড রাইট নাও দেয়ার ইজ আ জয়েন্ট মিশন অফ ইসরো অ্যান্ড নাসা যেখানে দিস উইল বি টেস্টেড সো হ্যাজ বিন সিলেক্টেড ফর দি দিস বেসিক্যালি দি অ্যাক্সিয়াম ফোর মিশন অ্যান্ড হু ইজ দেয়ার ইসরো হ্যাজ সিলেক্টেড ক্যাপ্টেন শুভাংশু শুক্লা অ্যান্ড গ্রুপ ক্যাপ্টেন প্রশান্ত বালাকৃষ্ণন ইন টু ইট শুভাংশু শুক্লা উইল বি দি প্রাইম অ্যাস্ট্রোনট অ্যান্ড প্রশান্ত নায়ন উইল বি দি ব্যাক আপ অ্যাস্ট্রোনট অ্যান্ড অলসো হি উইল বি দি সেকেন্ড অ্যাস্ট্রোনট ফ্রম ইন্ডিয়া বিকজ দি ফার্স্ট অ্যাস্ট্রোনট ফ্রম ইন্ডিয়া ইজ Rakesh Sharma who went to space in the year 1984 and when Indira Gandhi ji asked him that how does India look from space he said sare jahan se acha Hindustan hamara okay so that is some one of the remarkable time of India and what is basically the Gangayan mission Gangayan mission is a mission jeta amra space se jabo and under this mission try to understand eta tomar 400 km je orbit that is the lower earth orbit this will move okay so that is the thing so india is projecting to go into the space 31 q9b high altitude long endurance uavs so uss theke amra eglo procure korchi and the dac has approved the amendment to mq9b uav deal with usa so unmanned aerial vehicles eglo basically uav is unmanned aerial vehicles okay so what are this so you don't need to have somebody in the vehicle to operate okay so if you want to look into the areas jerokom the balakot strike was there so if you want to look into the area of pakistan to me a particular j hull technique of uav you can use it and check out also it is still proof mane kono jodi erokom missile kimba technology okhane thake jeta dhoro its its still is a technique which actually doesn't let you see what is there mane hocche je ya to for an easy example jerokom jongole jokhon tomar kauke stilt korte hoy to camouflage use kore similar looking cloth like the jungle forest wala but in case of say for example you are at a position jekhane it's not forest so you can use different technologies jate tomar je light rays seta ke ei bhabe reflect korbe so that chokhe jano oi jinish ta dhora na pore ঠিক আছে তো দ্যাট ইজ আ স্টিল টেকনোলজি বাট দিস আনম্যান্ড এরিয়াল ভেহিকেল হল ইজ অ্যাকচুয়ালি ক্যাপাবল অফ ডিটেক্টিং ইট ওকে সো ডিফেন্স অ্যাকুইজেশন কাউন্সিল হ্যাজ অ্যাকচুয়ালি রিসেন্টলি অ্যাপ্রুভড দি ডিল ফর থার্টি ওয়ান এম কিউ নাইন বি হল ফ্রম জেনারেল অ্যাটোমিক্স অফ ইউএস এ তো এখান থেকে প্রশ্ন কি আসতে পারে এম কিউ নাইন বি হল কোন কোন পার্টিকুলার কোম্পানি থেকে আমরা প্রকিওর করছি অর কোন পার্টিকুলার কান্ট্রি থেকে আমরা প্রকিওর করছি ইউ ক্যান গেট দি Uh, list of USA, Russia, Israel. So you have to choose its USA. Exercise Tarang Shakti. So names of the exercises. Prepare a note. Jekhane tumi write the name of the military exercise and the military involved. That is army or the air force or the navy. And you will write here jek kon kon country modde hoche. Okay. So that is the thing. So let's look into this. So Tarang Shakti largest multilateral air exercise in India to be held in two phases in August and September. And this exercise is taking place in Tamil Nadu and Rajasthan the uh, two phases of it and this is a international air exercise. So it is not please do maintain a note. Now a kind of country all a lot of countries are there 51 countries are there. So this is one of the biggest one India is hosting and this is the largest. Eta thara we also host another one that is the Milan. Okay, so Milan is also big. Now here it is an air exercise. Unlike Milan, Milan is not an air exercise, right? So objective is to invite friendly foreign countries with whom the Indian Air Force interacts regularly and has certain degree of interoperability. When I say for example, if there is a terrorist attack and we have to cooperate with another country, we should know their modus of operandi. Second is with respect to HADAR, that is Human Assisted Disaster Response. Jai Rukum Yemen every date. Suppose you have to bring back people in a country which is torn in war. Jai Rukum, you must have seen the movie Airlift. Jai Rukum, jodhi kona country so te kora operation kota hai, we must know on what technology, what basis they work. So this is the main aim. Also, this shows that India has a lot of friends and this increases India's power in the region. Okay, INS Shalki. So this is basically a submarine of Indian Navy which arrived at Colombo for formal visit. So see this is actually a Shishumar class of submarine 
which is diesel electric submarine you go through this this was built by the mazagao dock limited india navy has four shishumar class and these names are important the shishumar shanku shalki and shankur okay so it was basically deployed at the time of 86 to 94 all the four so just go through it once okay you can access the pdf in my telegram channel achan kamar tiger reserve so chatisgarh government has recently talked that achan kamar tiger reserve has actually witnessed a significant increase in tiger count from 5 to 10 so out of it uh, most of the numbers are female some are male and which is very good for more production of tiger I, that is reproduction of tiger now let's see some mcqs okay mridu paswan uh, sorry mridu pavandas was appointed as the next high commissioner of which of the following country so mridu pavandas has been appointed for rwanda right rwanda so that is a country in the central east of africa then who is the newly appointed dg of army medical services and what is this significant about the appointment so just we did it it is lieutenant general sadhana saxena she is the first one right she is the first woman to hold this position and she is also the second one to get the position of air marshal what significant discovery was made in keladi shivganga district of karnataka what it is terracotta pipelines right and what we get to know through this it was somewhat a proto urban civilization and jokhani amra south india dekhi we try to understand it with respect to the megalithic burial culture and after that the sangam culture but this is a breakthrough in the discovery now see which indian shooter won the bronze medal in the men's category for the 50 meter rifle event at paris olympics of 2024 so since olympic has been hold, held this year it's very important to me olympic vijeta jara jiteche tader naam mone rakhbe it's Swapnil Kushale. Okay, Swapnil Kushale. So, we will read about the Paris Olympics in the upcoming PDF, right? So, which virus is known as the swine flu virus and was declared as a pandemic by who in 2009? It's H1N1. Now, don't confuse with this. H5N1 is avian influenza, bird flu. Okay. This is also influenza A type, but this is different. SARS-CoV-2, you know, this is like similar to the COVID-19 we had, but SARS-CoV-2 is little different than that and it was in the uh, part of the China. Then you have Zika. Zika is caused by flavi viruses. Jeta Thomas, same dengue calls kore. Okay, these are the things. Okay, so SARS-CoV-2 is also caused by Corona, right? But this Corona, the COVID-19 is different than SARS-CoV-2. HEMA committee report. So, basically, right now you have seen we will not read all this you can read it when uh, you are reading the pdf so hema commission has given the report on the malayalam film industry and ki dekha gache je women jara actress tader je power tader je rights sheglo kothao na kothao giye abridge hoyeche how because sex racket extortion all these things have taken place also jara male actor Tara timing of shooting tara their luxury all these are chosen by the male actor producers or directors and a lot of people's name has come under it famous on a actor malayalam industry theke ache and a lot of people have actually talked about it previously also but the hema commission report has actually come up with actually this is a issue unified pension scheme it could be important you may get this so you have to understand it a bit so the cabinet union cabinet chairs by prime minister narendra modi ji has approved the unified pension scheme so what are the things we should know about it so previously akdam prothom jeta shetache old pension scheme then we had the nps right then we have the ups now what is the difference nps is basically a middle path of the ops and the nps why because nps are under a tumi joto taka dicho based on that you are driving the money but ups a key benefit at a fixed amount you will get so if you are working for 25 years plus then to me last to my drawn salary thug me baro masher shetar 50 percent you are getting right second thing is if somebody has worked less than 25 years then that person will get 10,000 rupees next financial year take it a lagu hobby and the government will also give money into it family pension is also part of it okay so these are the things about it and uh, 
the government will be giving an amount of 18.5 percent for this scheme okay so for each person 18.5 percent will be given by the government so you read this one things will be clear agriculture decision support system so agri dss so the central government has launched an unique digital geospatial platform called as agri dss so why be the technology has to come into agriculture if we really want to attain the doubling farmers income and other things right so this is the first kind of geospatial platform designed specifically for the indian agriculture so we will look into the weather related phenomena and also reserve storage groundwater level soil health all these things right so this will check the microclimate of a region suppose you can draw to the pare right I get the camera jante the barbo care of rainfall hobby soil or key health what type of fertilizer you actually require crop failure jodi hot it but a locust infection money dollar to mark on a pest infection or check all these things can be accessed by the use of the satellites deployed by the ministry of agriculture and department of space okay so that is the thing here then you have track of the year so recently basically to promote tourism Sinla pass of Pithorgarh and Sharutal Bugyal of Uttar Kashi were declared track of the year by the Uttarakhand tourism department so it's a to make a portion it has to be seen la pass recently seen in news one particular state at TK Jerome Nathula we know we read about the other passes in the Sikkim. Serukum Bhabe Sinla Pass, since this is, this is in news, we have to know it. And also the Saratul Bugyal. Okay. Fine. About Sinla Pass, let's see it. So, this is basically located in the Pithorga districts, 5495 meter above the eastern Kumayan Himalayas. Yes. Another question you can get Sinla Pass, one particular range located so uttarakhand you know there is the kumayan it's in kumayan erokomi ekta proshno kintu main sei bochor esche thik ache je kon particular himalayan ranges e this is located the pass connects bidang in the dharma valley to joli kangong lake in the kuthi yanti valley the pass was part of the ancient trade route for the bhotia people of tibet thik ache so eta puro mone rakhte hobe na you just remember dharma valley to the uh, joli kangong lake it is connecting Second thing is, this is part of Uttarakhand in the Kumayun hills of Himalayas. Okay. PM Modi Poland on a two-day visit. So, before we actually read these all things, you need to understand that recently, Ukraine and Russia are warrior against it. Poland is a country which actually borders Ukraine. India's visit into Poland is a remarkable step. Previously, India visited Russia and right now to balance it out, India is visiting Poland and also it visited Ukraine by train. So, when India visited Poland and it talks about different type of cooperation in the field of economy, strategy, other things. Also, when India visited Ukraine, it talked about what an Ukraine is one of the most powerful city that is one of the most important city of Ukraine that is Kyiv. So, they are also they have talked about that we need to have a peace and stability and war should not go ahead and there should be a diplomatic conclusion to it so based on that so you have to remember this that prime minister of india has actually visited to poland in the last 50 45 years this is the first time earlier moraji desai had gone to poland okay then what you have just a second okay right then you have what is that uh, poland officially the republic of poland is a country in the central europe it has borders with ukraine also and sixth most populous country of European Union then you have what it has borders with Germany to the west Czech Republic and Slovakia to the south and with what Lithuania Ukraine Belarus and Russia to the east so very very important to look into the position right and very important one thing why is Poland having border with Russia because Russia are at a mainlander take a by the actor part that is the Kaliningrad which actually has borders with Lithuania and Poland along with Baltic Sea which is present in the European continent you should remember Kaliningrad is not part of the mainland Russia but it is outside it but it is territory of Russia okay fine so what is basically the issue with respect to Russia and Ukraine Russia wants to have the access of ports of what the Black Sea so that is the main issue so also prime minister has reached ukraine uh, by using the train so that is one thing so you should read it once okay so ukraine is a country located in eastern 
Europe and you see what are the countries Russia to the east, Belarus, Poland, Poland, Slovakia to the north, Hungary to the west, Romania and Moldova to the southwest and Black Sea and Sea of Azov to the south. Kiev is the country's capital as well as the largest city and Kiev is the place where Prime Minister Modi ji has also visited. Okay. Fine. So let's see this. This is the place. And basically, in 2014, Russia took power of this part, the Crimea Peninsula. And after that, G7, this was G7 plus 1 chilo, G8, Jetaka Bolauto. And G7 basically outcasted, removed Russia from this grouping because 2014 Russia claimed Crimea. So, Russia basically, if you look into Russia, Russia is the eastern part, it has its opening in the Pacific Ocean. Northern part, it's mostly under permafrost, right? The Arctic Ocean, you can take a trade kora, shambhubnai, ota shabshamate borofe thak. So, this is a part, if Russia gains this, Russia can benefit by using the Black Sea. Okay, for trade and purpose and that is the main reason Russia is doing it. So, you must have read about that Odessa, a port in Ukraine was taken by Russia. So, Kyiv is the capital here, Kyiv is. Okay. So, what is the effect? So, if Russia takes over Ukraine, then of course, Romania, Poland, all this also will be under threat. Poland is a member of NATO. Okay. But still, you never know what Russia can do. Ukraine is not a member of NATO, but Ukraine wants to be. The second largest diamond in the world. So, it has been discovered in Botswana. Botswana is the country in Africa. Now, the diamond is 2492 karat and discovered by Canadian company Lucara Diamond. They are not very important. It was found in Cairo Mine of Botswana. This you can remember. Kulian Diamond is the world's largest diamond. And also you see it was discovered in the premier mine of South Africa in the year of 905, this Kulian Diamond. So, this is basically 310. 6 carats. So, what is the diamond purity or largeness? It is carats. And you may also get this. That is the largest cone diamond. Second largest, also this you can get. So, Botswana, you see, it is located in the part of Africa and also it is having its border with South Africa, Namibia, Zimbabwe. Okay. So, just go through it one. Its capital is Gaboron. Okay. India will get free. Achha, India will get visa free entry in Sri Lanka. So, but why it is doing it? So, basically, this include many major countries, India, Britain and USF. So, why? Because we want that our money should go into Sri Lanka so that Sri Lanka's GDP can rise because a strong neighbor is good for India. Otherwise, jodi amadeji neighbor countries, Jerkom Nepal, Sri Lanka, jodi weak hoy, then China can actually use its position, right? By giving it aid, the aid and loan China die, that is very, very problematic because there is high amount of loan hoy which the country cannot repay. And then China ki kore ujjo territory shaglo ke lease ni nai. And then it puts its military. So that is a problem. So if we can put more tourists there, so benefit of Sri Lanka is very high and indirectly India will also benefit from a strong Sri Lanka. So, if you are getting visa free entry, that means that Sri Lanka and India both wants to increase people to people ties. Now, you look into Sri Lanka, this is basically separated from India by the Gulf of Mannar and it is near the state of Tamil Nadu. Okay, fine. Arogya Maitri Health Cube. So, the Indian Army and Air Force has recently conducted a first of its kind of para drop of Ayagra Arogya Maitri Health Cube, the indigenously made. This is basically 15,000 feet elevation. So, what is the benefit? This can actually cater to at least 200 people who are injured or something. It can have inbuilt ICU and other system is there. So, that if we are fighting in lack or lock, we can easily get access. Also, at a civilian perspective, especially in the states, northeastern states and also the states of JN, uh, I mean the area, Union territory of JN, Ken, Ladakh. Uh, if the civilian, the people over there are falling ill, this can actually serve as a mini hospital for them. Okay, so this is the world's portable first hospital and this is under the project Bhish Bharat Health Initiative for Shahyo, Hita and Maitri. Contents, medical equipment and supplies. Also, you see this has what? Food, water, power generator, blood test equipment and x-ray machine and other things. Okay, so you can read it once. Chandrayaan 4. So, recently, S. Somnath, that is the 
চেয়ারপারসন অফ ইসরো হ্যাজ রিসেন্টলি সেট অন দি ন্যাশনাল স্পেস ডে দ্যাট উই উইল গো ফর চন্দ্রায়ন ফোর এটার আন্ডারে আমরা কি করব এখন আমরা কি করছি সাউথ পোল দি সাউথ পোল যেখানে আমাদের চন্দ্রায়ন থ্রি ল্যান্ড করেছে অ্যাকর্ডিং টু দি ইন্টারন্যাশনাল অ্যাস্ট্রোনমিক্যাল ইউনিয়ন ইট হ্যাজ বিন নেম ট্যাট দি শিব শক্তি পয়েন্ট রাইট এটাও প্রশ্ন আসতে পারে নাও উই হ্যাভ ল্যান্ডেড ইন টু দি সাউথ পোল দি চন্দ্রায়ন ফোর উইল ডেফিনেটলি ল্যান্ড বাট আগেন হোয়াট ইট উইল ডু ইট উইল হ্যাভ টু টাইপ অফ ইকুইপমেন্ট ওয়ান উইল ল্যান্ড অ্যান্ড অলসো দেয়ার উইল বি আনাদার uh technology which will collect the sample it will flow back to the rover and then india te abar ota phire ashbe okay then we will test it right that is the mission so this are the mission you can re read it once so this is basically to collect samples from moon's surface dr bibhash took oath as tripura's lok ayukta so you just give it read once so lok ayukta you know executive jara that is the minister the cm the other এস অফিসার্স আদার তাদেরকে অ্যাকাউন্টেবিলিটির জন্য রাইট ইফ দে ডু সাম ক্রাইম দেন উই শুড বি এবল টু হোল্ড দ্যাম অ্যাকাউন্ট অ্যান্ড হু ডাজ ইট লোক আয়ুক্তা সেন্টারের জন্য ইটস লোকপাল রাইট সো উই হ্যাভ টু বিলস লোক আয়ুক্তা অ্যাক্ট অ্যান্ড দি লোকপাল লোকপাল ইজ ফর সেন্টার লোক আয়ুক্তা ইজ ফর স্টেটস লুইস আবিন্দার অ্যাকচুয়ালি হ্যাজ বিন সোন অ্যাজ দি প্রেসিডেন্ট অফ ডমিনিকান রিপাবলিক তো এটা তুমি ডাইরেক্ট কোয়েশ্চেন পেতে পারো ডমিনিকান রিপাবলিক ইজ ওয়ান অফ দি কান্ট্রি ইন দি ক্যারবিয়ান সি Okay, so this is basically Dominion Republic and this is part of the Caribbean Sea country uh, list. Baki countries, if you look into it, is Jamaica, Cuba. So this is basically the Atlantic Ocean. If you extend the map, this is the part of North America and this is basically the part of South America, right? And this is the Caribbean Sea. You can see that Mexico is there. And this is part of the island of Hispaniola, both Haiti and Santo Domingo. Uh, that is the capital of Dominion Republic. They make up the island of hispaniola also you see eastern part it is the dominican republic and western part is haiti puerto rico is one of the islands of us ekhane us on a hydrocarbon extract kore caribbean sea because it is very rich in hydrocarbon and india is also interested here of course you can understand economy will drive the strategy so you should remember who has shown as the pm or president okay manuel osa okay just a second so let's see this is this is another question with respect to the appointment of the president so a question gulo kintu aste pare so theodor obiang neguma has appointed manuel osa nusa as the prime minister so ekhane dutu jinish tumi bujhte pachho equatorial guinea te eta hocche equatorial guinea is a country in the africa the western part of africa and the president there that is theodor obiang neguma has actually appointed manuel osa nusa as the prime minister there so both the names you should remember are WBCS ki korte pare dutu nami hoyto diye dilo and you get confused and you take either of it but try to remember it properly je who is the prime minister who is the president now you see this is equatorial guinea and this is having borders with cameroon and gabon and maritime border with atlantic ocean the capital is malabo okay that is the thing here okay saktikant das becomes top central bank uh, okay Saktikant Das becomes top central banker globally. So Saktikant Das, you know, is the governor of RBI. So you see, US magazine Global Finance has released and ranked RBI governor Saktikant Das as the top central banker globally for the second consecutive year. And Das has been given a ranking of A plus this year too. Also, only three central bank governors to get A plus. One is the Saktikant Das of RBI, Denmark Christian Kettel Thompson. and switzerland thompson jordan okay so you don't have to remember the other rbi i mean central bank governors remember shaktikant das's name and that he has got the a1 rank modi governor strive reshaping india's path to prosperity so you see modi governor strive reshaping india's path to prosperity this is basically a book which has been authored by bjp general secretary tarun chog so eta prashne kintu astei pare because 18 lok sabha bjp has come into the helm and this can be a question so recently you have seen that home minister amit shah ji has released this book which has been authored by bjp leader tarun chog rajiv gandhi international airport has been selected for best airport award in the india travels awards so rgai has received this award for the third consecutive year and this was also awarded skytrax best airport stuff in india and south asia 2024 award in the year 2023 it's located in hyderabad in telangana and largest airport in india in terms of area now you have to remember that uh, the other thing related to airports since a lot of infrastructure developments are going on one thing which you need to understand is that apart from this news 
the Kochi airport is the only airport which is 100% energized or jeta te tomar electricity is given by solar power planet. And Kochi airport is hydrogen fuel generator is jonno ekta project cholche. So that you should remember. So first green airport is Kochi that is in Kerala. Shahin 2 missile. So Pakistan has launched it and we will just need to know this much that Pakistan has launched and this was with the help of definitely the PRC, People's Republic of China helped it to develop the technologies and the name of the ballistic missile is Shahin 2. Difference between ballistic missile and normal missile you should know. Normal missile ki hai, to make him take a chulle jagam aage cannon use hoto. This follows a parabolic path. But in case of ballistic missile, so say for example your target is moving. So it will change its course. First aerokum jachche then it will go aerokum. So that is the thing. Ballistic missiles are also at times having nuclear warheads. It can have. Paris Paralympic Games. So let's see. This is being held. This has been held from 28 August to 8 September. And we know that Avni Lekhara has won the gold medal. Okay. So Sumit Antil and Bhagyashri are the, the first Indian flag bearers in the opening ceremony of the Paris Paralympic Games. So both the Olympic and the Paralympic Tadir je flag bearer opening ceremony te, closing ceremony te and the list of the winners and type of medals and in which sport they have won. Tad jo no please make a note. Okay. Put an A4 sheet, write the topic like the name of the game, who won it and what medal and also on what sports. Thika jay ta rekta note bani ho ak pe jay chola ash pe. Thika jay ta examer aga din ak bar revise ko pe. World record for most runs in one over in T20 international broken. So, how it has been broken and who has broken is this record was set during the match between Samoa and Vanuatu in the T20 World Cup qualifier. Now, Darius Weiser hit six sixes in six balls in an over balled by Vanuatu baller Nalin Nipiko in the T20 World Cup qualifier match. So, this is the record break six sixes in six balls, and this is see you have basically three no balls in that. So, basically 39 runs in an over. Okay, ninth ICC Women's T20 Cricket World Cup. So the International Cricket Council has shifted the ninth ICC Women's T20. Jeta aage tomar Bangladesh hawar kotha chilo. And since there is a cope in Bangladesh, and you know that Sheikh Hasina had to go out of the nation. So right now it will be held in UAE. Okay, due to the political tensions here. So kothai hawe basically 23 match. One is Dubai and Sharjah. So you may get this T20 of women will be held in UAE. Because also Bangladesh is one of our neighboring countries. That is why it is also important. Neeraj Chopra finished second in Lucerne Diamond League. So Neeraj Chopra, you know, Olympics, he has won the bronze. And that is why his news with respect to other games is also important. So Neeraj basically threw the javelin 89.49 meters in Lucerne Diamond League and finished second. Okay, so first person was uh, Grenada's Anderson Peters. So just go through it once. You don't have to remember the meter, but you should know that Neeraj has won the bronze in Olympic and here he has won the second medal in uh, the Olympic. He was doing the javelin, him here too. Okay. Shikhar Dhawan retires from international cricket. So he has said that from all formats, I will take retirement. Okay. NIRF 2024 ranking. So IIT Madras ranking is 1 according to the NIRF ranking. So what is the NIRF ranking? This is basically released by the Indian government. And it can have HEI, that is Higher Education Institutes. The Dhaka hai. So if you, there is segment query ranking. Right? So Simon query ranking is better perform kote hai. Right? That is a worldwide ranking. So we have to have a ranking system in India itself. So say ranking system hai, theke amra bujbo je ki ki amadar improvements dor kar. So this is a national ranking of the institutes of India which are in the higher education field. So which is very important why because dakho, India ranking overall jodhi dekhi that is IIT Madras has come sec first and second is the Indian Institute IISC Bangalore. Thik hai go through the list once. Then what we have state public yodhi dakho Jadavpur is in the second and Anna University of Chennai first. Thik hai so just read it once. Grain ATM has been launched in the city of Bhubaneswar in Odisha. Right? And it's in Mancheshwar. So basically what is grain ATM? Let's understand. So PDF But here we will talk and we will skip that part basically so that we understand it rather than reading the PPT. So grain ATM, what is ATM? Basically ATM is a machine that dispenses cash, right? So grain ATM ki similarly dispense 
grain right so jara tomar crops uh, sorry cereals the jonno fair price shop e jay with their ration card tara ki kore they have this that a particular amount they will get when they produce it by paying a subsidized rate but what happens this fair price shops are corrupted at large and tara hoyto at times product e dai na kimba kichu amount mere dai all these things happen so a lot of people are poor and they are under the brunt of the corruption in fair price shop but if we make it technological and also fair price shop 24 hours open thake na this will be 24 hours open whenever they need they can go after work after any time at night so this will be a help for the poorer section of the society because this is technologically best right so this is the thing you will read it you will understand this and also you see this will annapurti provides universal access that is you don't have to belong to that state or union territory to access it because we have this the one nation and one ration so that is part of this is one of the part of this okay so that is the thing and you see this can actually give 50 kilograms in 5 minutes and 24 hours a day reducing waiting time by 70% that is also a good thing right the first state in the country to give money for sanitary pads so madhya pradesh has become the first state je tomar girls their bank account e provide korbe money for sanitary pads so sanitary pads are very important you go through this this is the basically uh, data so rupees 300 per student they will give why basically this is a practice of hygiene so you can see this as an extension of the swachh bharat mission also and using sanitary pads can actually reduce the type of disease that women can get okay and this will also improve the overall hygiene okay and this social stigma also on 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 next state basically free sanitary pads they are hai jerokom maharashtra karnataka rajasthan delhi and here they are providing money for it geo parsi scheme portal so you see parsi people if you look into the indian national movement you will see that they had this very rich culture and they have very less number of social reform movement a uh, one major do by which was held by uh, dada bhai narogi madam kama was there but after that they developed a lot okay culturally educationally not only the male counterpart but also the female counterpart so what do we understand by that that parsi people are basically literate and culturally good now because of the education other things they are uh, i mean going into the working part that is working their female as well as male higher education has actually led to what a less number of children they are having that is the total fertility rate has come down but to preserve the culture you need to do, have children right so that is why the union ministry of affairs the minority affairs kiran rijuju has actually launched this particular portal and what will it do this is a central sector scheme that means it is 100% funded by the center whenever we say it is a central sector scheme remember this is 100% funded central sponsored hole it is divided between the center and the state in the ratio of 60 40 60 center states 40 if it is the union territory of j and k ladakh or say for example the uh, other union territories ta hole 100% by center if it is a state which is in the northeastern parts or bordering states right with the other countries tokhon center gives 90 is to 10 that is center 90 and state 10% Okay, so this started in 2020, 2013, and it aims to address the declining trend in the Parsi population. So for that, what they are giving financial assistance to Parsi couples for medical treatment, also child care and support to independent, uh, dependent elderly, and Parsi couples also given cash assistance for children. Okay, so these are the aim. So basic aim you have understood. Once you read it, things will be even better, clear. PM Jivan Yojana. So this is basically Javik Indhan, Vetavaran Anukul Fazal. avshesh nirvan so what is this jav indhan that means live cheezon ko use karke that is you have to produce electricity how you do it say for example you have biomass right how you have biomass jerokom dhoro after you produce the sugar from the sugar cane you have the molasses left bagasses left so you can use it right that is the jav indhan so what you do basically vatavaran anukul fasal avshesh nivaran fasal avshesh is the left out part and vatavaran anukul because this is environment friendly nivaran that is to use it for the production of electricity now this yojana was launched in 2019 to provide financial assistance for development of the second generation ethanol from surplus biomass and agricultural waste so second generation first generation a difference ki hoy first generation is basically directly use of jero cow dung or crops 
দিস ইজ ফার্স্ট জেনারেশন সেকেন্ড হচ্ছে যে তুমি এই পার্টিকুলার যে বায়ো মাস লেফট থাকছে সেগুলোকে ইউজ করা ইন আ ফিনিশড ওয়ে যেরকম পেটলেটস স্পেশালি ইন দি টারবাইনস রাইট আই মিন দি বয়লার্স অ্যান্ড দেন মুভিং দি টারবাইনস মানে হোয়াট বেসিক্যালি ইট ডাস লেটস আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড আ বিট যেরকম ধরো ফার্স্ট জেনারেশন আন্ডারস্টুড দ্য কাউ ডং আদার থিংস ডাইরেক্টলি তুমি জালি নিলে অ্যান্ড ইউ প্রডিউস দি হিট নাও ইন দি সেকেন্ড জেনারেশন হোয়াট ইউ ডু সে ফর এক্সাম্পল আই হ্যাভ দি মোলার্স যেরকম সুগার ক্যান থেকে প্রডিউস করার পর উই হ্যাভ দি লেফট আউট ইউ বেসিক্যালি প্রসেস ইট ইন টু স্মল মল চিপস ওকে নাও ইন দি বয়লার অফ আ থার্মাল পাওয়ার প্ল্যান্ট ইউ পুট ইট অ্যালং উইথ কোল সো সে ফর এক্সাম্পল ইউ পুট সেভেন্টি পার্সেন্ট কোল থার্টি পার্সেন্ট দিস সো দিস উইল অ্যাক্ট ফর হোয়াট হিট জেনারেশন ওয়ান্স হিট ইজ জেনারেটেড ইউ উইল অ্যাকচুয়ালি মেক দি ওয়াটার ওয়েপার অ্যান্ড দেন দি টারবাইন ক্যান বি টার্নড ওকে সো দিস উইল অ্যাকচুয়ালি ডু হোয়াট ইট ইজ সাস্টেনেবল বিকজ এটা তোমার not using fossil fuel this is renewable in nature so that is the thing here okay fine nsil india will launch nepal's satellite so nsil is basically the new space india limited which is one of the arm of isro it are basically kaj ki nsil er nsil er main work hocche private sector der ke ekta push deya because see this space sector requires a lot of fund er age space sector e jodi kauke invest korte hoto গভর্নমেন্ট অ্যাপ্রুভাল রুটের থ্রু আসতে হতো বাট রাইট নাও ইট হ্যাজ বিন ডান অ্যাভে তো এফডিআই হান্ড্রেড পার্সেন্ট ইজ পসিবল উইদাউট গভর্নমেন্ট অ্যাপ্রুভাল নাও দিস এন এস আই এল ইজ লঞ্চিং নেপালস মুনাল স্যাটেলাইট ওয়াই বিকজ দিস উইল ইনক্রিজ ইন্ডিয়াজ অ্যান্ড নেপালস কোপারেশন অ্যান্ড টাইস বিকজ সি নেপাল ইজ আ বফারটেড স্টেট বিটুইন ইন্ডিয়া অ্যান্ড চায়না সো মুনাল স্যাটেলাইট কে ডেভেলপ করেছে দি এন এ এস টি অফ নেপাল দিস ইজ দি অর্গানাইজেশন লাইক ইসরো ইন নেপাল and this will be used to create database of vegetation density on the earth surface okay so basically it will look into the forest agricultural places so nano satellite this moonal which falls in the 1u cubesat category so what is nsil doing amader kache je tomar different like satellite launching systems ache right the different rockets pslv gslv it's letting other countries other private organizations also to use it also you see one thing nepal doesn't has a border with sea so that is also a problem for it to launch satellite so either it has to take help of china or india so india has border with the indian ocean and that is why it can help it so we have also different space sports and recently tamil nadu te for specially usage of private sector kula shekhara pattinam bole ekta port banana hoyeche which is very strategic for us because it will help us leverage a lot of income from it and also to project india as a power okay so remember the kulashekara patinam in tamil nadu ta chhara to tumra porei chho nishchoy the sasis dhaban space center the villar island of the apj abdul kalam uh, island in odisha all these things isro successfully launched the earth observation satellite 08 theek okay? hai so it is using the smallest rocket sslv d3 so this is basically solid fuel based right so we have three types and uh, this is also a small satellite so sslv pslv and gslv so the difference is the amount of weight it carries jerom gslv 4000 kg porjonto carry korte pare sslv is less pslv is little more than sslv but less than gslv and also kothay carry korche like gslv toman geo synchronous orbit e niyete pare PSLV is for polar orbits like that okay and SSLV is solid fueled okay PSLV is solid and liquid and GSLV is solid liquid and cryogenic okay so that is the thing so fuel is also important so you see it a particular us has been launched from the shashil dhawan space center in shri harikota and installed about 475 km about earth surface so moreover you can look it like the leo lower earth orbit and it is to provide accurate information of the environment and disasters jerukom dhoro tsunami cyclone all these things first the trial of indigenous dengue vaccine has become and icmr has launched this with panacea biotech this is the phase 3 of the clinical trial but this is indigenously made when they make in india under it and if we can really do it we have something called vaccine diplomacy because india already active pharmaceutical ingredient onno anno country te especially africa te export kore because we want cheap drugs to be available to developing countries also generic medicines or something and the third one is the vaccines which we are talking about so ding all this the name is this and you look into this 
and efficacy at the top of the percent it is efficient then the first participant in this trial was vaccinated at Pandit Bhagwan Dayal Sharma and this was from postgraduate institute of medical science Rotak okay so at present there is no antiviral treatment or licensed vaccine for dengue in India okay TV Somnathan so senior IS officer TV Somnathan has been appointed as the new cabinet secretary of India very important it approaching into Asha chances who high that who is the recent cabinet secretary of India so you read this other parts one okay so remember his name then let's see Padro Ala Kaira Award. So, Padro Ala Kaira Award has been given to Shahrukh Khan, the Bollywood actor, and he is the first one to get this award from India. This was in the 77 Lokarno Film Festival, Jeratama, Switzerland. Okay, so you need to remember this also. You know that Shahrukh Khan has also received Padma Shri, and since Shahrukh Khan is the owner of KKR, Kolkata Knight Riders, he has some nexus with West Bengal, we must remember. PM Bhing Sim's book. 75 great revolutionaries of India. So you see Rajya Sabha Deputy Chairman Harivansh Narayan Singh has actually released this book which is written by MP, Member of Parliament Bhim Singh. The name is 75 great revolutionaries of India. Okay, remember this. Now Modi became the third PM to host the flag of the 11th time. So third PM to host the flag 11th time. Eraga Jawaharlal Nehru Korachan. Tar pore we know Indira Gandhi has done it. So Jawaharlal Nehru you see has done 17 times, Indira Gandhi has done 16 times and the theme of the 78th Independence Day which was on 15th August is developed India or Vikshit Bharat, both are same okay, at the rate 2047, what does this 2047 indicate? That we have to be developed by the year of 2047 okay. Harish became India's permanent representative to UN, remember this. So, at United Nations, which is at New York, uh, central government has appointed Parvathani Harish as the next ambassador of UN. And along with this, he has also been made the permanent representative of India at UN. Okay. So, remember his name too. Nalin Prabhat became special DG of Jammu Kashmir. So, you know, Jammu Kashmir is under a lot of turmoil, insurgency, all other things. So, you should remember the name of the DG of JNK. So, Nalin Prabhat is the one to take this position. Rahul Navin is the new director of enforcement director. So, enforcement director at Barba News Asche. So, who is the director of ED is important. Enforcement director is an executive body, right? Manator kono legal backing nahi. Second thing, hoche, enforcement directorate works for money laundering cases and appropriation of black money. So, it works for PMLA Act, Prevention of Money Laundering Act, and it also works for the FRCA Act. So, remember this too. Okay. RN Agarwal, popularly known as Agni Man, passes away. Very important. So, basically, okay. So, you see, RN Agarwal played an important role in the long range ballistic missile, and he was the first projected director of Agni Missiles and also called the Agni Man. RN Agarwal was awarded Padma Shri in 1990 and Padma Bhushan in 2000. Okay. 17th National Film Award. So, let's see it. So, 17th National Film Award was announced in 16th of August, Manoj Bajpayee and Sharmila Tagore film, Gulmohar was selected as the best Hindi film. Okay, so remember the name. Then you have the Kantara, which has won the best actor and film award, Rishabh Shetty. She, he is basically the actor of the movie and also he was the one who has written the script. Nitya Menon for Tamil film, Tiru Chitra Balam and Mansi Parekh for Gujarati film, Kach Express became the best actress. So, who is the best actor? Rishabh Shetty and two actresses we have under best actress okay INS Arigat a very very important news because it is a ballistic missile submarine so Erage Shale Ari Hunt was the one which was installed second one to come under the Ari Hunt class is INS Arigat and this is basically nuclear powered right so successfully test of 1000 kg Gaurav bomb so the Gaurav bomb has been tested from the long range glide bomb of the coast of Odisha. Okay. And this bomb was actually launched from IFF Sukhoi MK1 fighter. It is a 1000 kg air launch glide bomb capable of hitting long range targets. Okay. So basically you see these are the specification 100 kilometer dur target ko hit kar sakta hai ye. Okay. So you just go through this one. Mainly you need to know that it is 1000 kg and 100 kilometer is the target range. Okay, Lambai Vagarabi you can read. 
the length it is 4 meter. Neel Kurunji included in IUCN red lid. So, Neel Kurunji basically hai kya? Neel Kurunji is a type of flower. Thik hai? We will go to this. So, basically we understand. We, let's understand. So, first thing is Neel Kurunji kaha aati hai? It's mostly in the southern part that is Nepal, uh, sorry, uh, Kerala and the part of Tamil Nadu, part of western ghats okay eastern ghat mein bhi thoda bahut dikhta hai but mostly it's in the western ghat southern part of western ghat second thing is this neel kurunji is a flowering plant right jo 12 saal mein ek hi baar flower karta hai and also one thing this is monocarp what does it mean it means ki only one time it will flower in its whole lifetime theek hai to uske baad jo flower hogi usse jo naya reproduction hogi usse naya species form hogi right and that will also flower once in their lifetime right now second thing is this is under the vulnerable list this is under the vulnerable list okay so the iucn may you know there is different section of endangered species one is critically endangered which is the highest amount of endangered endangered and the vulnerable okay that can become extinct in the wild and then you have totally extinct. Jerkum dodo bud, it's extinct. Extinct in the wild, do kichu organisms thake, kichu tomar plants thake, ex critically endangered, jerkum dharo hoche, Asiatic cheetah, endangered as example, jerkum hoche dharo tomar lion, Asiatic lion, we have in gear, vulnerable, you have Neel Kurunji. Then after that, what we have? The near threatened. So these are basically threatened category, then we have near threatened. Near threatened, akono. This, this category threatened is ideal. Okay, so this is based on some parameters. Then you have data deficient. Jeta be para data nahi. So it may be threatened. It may not be threatened. We don't know because we don't have data. Your kum tomar anaconda is jono previously chilo because checking anacondas was seen as a uh, threat. People were afraid. So they will not go to South America to check it. But right now anaconda has been mapped and we know. Then you have least concerned. Your kum house sparrow. Right? or pigeons they are least concerned that the number on a catch so we don't have to be concerned about that so these are the categories under the international union of conservation of nature and what it releases a red list red data book so under it we get to know it so you go through this we have understood that what are the thing and mostly to me you did neil kurunji this is found in the silent valley national park of kerala okay and also there you have the river kunthi river which flows through this silent valley national park and also the Nilgiris thekei tomar naam Nilgiris er naam tomar Nil Kurunji thekei ashe okay Nilgiris er thekei i mean Nil Kurunji thekei this flowering plant thekei Nilgiri name comes because they also look blue in color and they will make the lush blue in the mountains of western ghats in the silent valley ramsar wetland site so before independence day three more sites has been included in the ramsar sites Bengal kon kon Ramsar sites such a very important. The East Calcutta Bitlands and the Sundar ones. Year of adaptation is important. Also, you need to know highest Ramsar sites kon state ache. It is in the state of Tamil Nadu. And recent to tumi jaglo inclusion dekhe. Tar modde theke duuta Tamil Nadu the again it has been done. And let's look into the name. Nanjarayan Bird Sanctuary and Khazu Valley Bird Sanctuary both are in Tamil Nadu. And Tawa Reserve is from the Madhya Pradesh. These three sites has been included. Go through the list of the last je tomar do watch order mode jiglo add hoiche. So along with this 85 number we are having right now. So which is very very high, right? So what is basically this Ramsar Convention? Ramsar Convention got adopted in the second February in the year of 1971, and second uh, February je no tomar wetland day hise be celebrate kora hoy. And also you should know there is only one convention which directly aims to protect the wetlands is Ramsar Convention. What is the use of wetlands? Wetlands are basically ecotone because this is between the terrestrial land and the waters. This is a zone which is of tension because ekhane tomar dry jodi hoi jai, kimba water clogging hoi jai, dhutati problem hoi jai. And this species will get vanished. Not only it will have species from the waters but terrestrial but nijero kichu species ekhane thakke. A lot of birds actually come into the Ramses sites. Right? Migratory birds. Chirugam, a lot of this uh, Nanjar Ayan bird sanctuary is one of the important bird areas. Okay, under the Bird Life International. So, these are also the facts related to it. So, you just read it. So, India joined the Ramsar Convention in 1st February 1982. Chandaka Wildlife Sanctuary. So, Chandaka Wildlife Sanctuary, they actually summer and a bike 
barking deer will be released as part of the expansion of this Chandaka Wildlife Sanctuary on Independence Day and Chandaka Wildlife Sanctuary is in Odisha. Paris Olympic 2024 concludes our India performance. Let's see. So, you see Paris next year it will be in Los Angeles and that is why the flag was handled to Los Angeles. Next year I mean next time after 4 years Los Angeles will host the Olympics of the year of 2028. So, what is basically Olympic sport? Olympic you know are different sports are there under it and the time Olympics hai, utaka bola hai, Olympia. Basically, the game such as IOC International Olympic Committee. Okay, so basically, we have two Olympics, right? And it is the authority responsible for organizing the summer and the winter Olympics. Fine. So, let's see highlights. Kya hai iska? So, mascot who was the mascot? The mascot was Fridge. And Fridge symbolizes what? Spirit of revolution, freedom, remission of France history. So, Fridge represents the idea of liberalism right which france actually propagated the idea of equality fraternity all these things which was the part of the french revolution at the time of renaissance the slogan is the complete openness of the games that is without caste without creed without race all these things so everybody can be part of it now who were the flag bearers while the open ceremony was held purshala venkata sindhu pv sindhu and achanta sharat kamal Closing ceremony mein kaun the? PR Shrijes and Manu Bhakar. Okay, so PR Shrijes, Manu Bhakar, you know, Manu Bhakar has won medals. The US has actually won the highest number of medal of 126, followed by China. India ka performance is mein thoda sa kam hai. We have won just 6 medals. Okay, 1 silver and 5 bronze. And you know that Vinesh Fogat couldn't participate because of our weight related issue. So, India has ranked 71st in the Paris Olympics 2020. Four. So, you see Neera Chopra, javelin throw ke liye unko mila hai Rajat, Jassis, Silver, Manu Bakar, 10 meter air rifle, air pistol, jisko hum bolte hai. she has got bronze, Manu and Sharabjit, the duo, they have also got bronze, then you have Swapnil Kushale, he has got for the 50 meter rifle, he has got so got bronze, you have Bharatiya Purush hockey team, they had also got bronze and Aman Sharawat, he has also got bronze. So, remember this list. Very, very important. I won't be surprised if this doesn't come in exam, but I will definitely be surprised that if question nahi aata hai. High chances that you will get one or two questions from Olympics. Hockey India retires jersey number 16. So, basically jersey number 16 is PR Shrijes. He has retired from the hockey team. And uh, you have seen that he was the one who was wearing the flag at the closing ceremony of Paris Olympics. Mon Morkel appointed bowling coach for Team India. So basically, you know the uh, see basically what has happened that uh, Gautam Gambhir, the, the coach of India, has actually asked that Mon Morkel should be the bowling practitioner or trainer for India. See, Morkel has been bowling coach of Pakistan cricket team, and Pakistan's bowling capabilities are really good. Cope in Bangladesh, so Cope in Bangladesh has happened, and uh, Prime Minister Sheikh Hashina has resigned. Now, what is the border of Bangladesh? and west bengal you should know this properly okay what is the kilometer okay so india has the longest border with bangladesh compared to its neighboring countries so west bengal shares basically okay the digit is 2 to 17 kilometer long border with bangladesh okay so apart from that five states of india also share border assam west bengal mizoram meghalaya and tripura so four other states apart from west bengal shares border with bangladesh Asham, mizoram meghalaya and tripura Okay, apart from Bangladesh, so this you must memorize. This can be a question. Coal gasification. So, the central government has launched a scheme for providing viability gap funding to promote coal lignite gasification project. So, it is a science question. We will see what is the answer. The coal gasification is basically key. Hoy. <coughs> so, it produces but it produces flue gas. Okay, so if you are asked what is flue gas, this is the coal gasification. Okay, this is partially oxidized with air, oxygen, and the formation is steam carbon dioxide. Okay, that is the thing. Okay. Now, Wakaf Amendment Bill. So, Wakaf Amendment Bill recently, hoche. so basically what is Wakaf? Wakaf is basically the idea that uh, certain properties are there. This is the idea of Muslim uh, religion that certain properties are owned by Allah, the God of Muslim sect. And those Wakaf, that is the property is actually controlled or maintained by a work of boat. 
ठीक है जी नाउ सर्टेन लॉज विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू दी वर्क ऑफ हैज बीन चेंज जेरकोम रेजिस्ट्रेशन ऑफ दी प्रॉपर्टीज हैज बीन मेड सेक्शन फोर्टी हैज बीन डन अवे विथ जैसे तुम्हारे डिफरेंट प्रॉपर्टीज दी वर्क ऑफ कुड एक्यूमुलेट सो बट राइट नाउ इट हैज टू बी लीगलाइज एंड रजिस्ट्रेशन इज नेसेसरी ओके Digital Shakti Center. So, National Commission of Women has inaugurated Digital Shakti Center with dealing with cyber crimes against women. Okay. So, let's see. This is part of the. Uh, see, we already have the she box, right? The sexual harassment at workplace. So, basically, to protect women and working women from sexual harassment and other outraging of modesty, other things. So, the Digital Shakti Center is a dedicated facility aimed at raising awareness. about the crimes targeting women and providing technical support required to register and solve the complaints gati shakti university so the gati shakti university is basically for more research and development in the field of aerospace education training and research in india to cover the entire transport and logistic sector so you have the gati shakti scheme jekhane tumar multimodal transport modes are getting uh, interoperable like railway to ships roads all these things so one of the part is to do a lot of research under it taijuna gati shakti university has been opened and this has been opened in the state of gujarat in vadodara so this is the first transportation university of india and the campus of the national academy of indian railways tarandareta ache so was granted in 2022 it was granted the status of central university under the central universities amendment act <coughs> excuse me उपस्थिति पोर्टल सो दिस इज फॉर दी एम्प्लॉज ऑफ दी हेल्थ डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ झारखंड ठीक है सो दे हैव टू गेट रजिस्टर्ड इन दिस पोर्टल दैट इज ए डॉक्टर मेडिकल पर्सनल नर्सेस एवरीवन सो फॉर दैट व्हाई फॉर देयर रियल टाइम लोकेशन कौन तारा पंच इन कोच्चे पंच आउट कोच्चे तो स्पेशली लुकिंग एट दी केस आफ्टर आर्जिकर्स इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट वी हैव सम सेफ्टी इंटरवेंशन फॉर दी मेडिकल प्रोफेशनल्स एंड दिस इज वन वे दैट वी कैन अटेस्ट इट Kasturi Cotton India program. So this is basically to brand the cotton in India, right? Ministry of Textile is implementing it. Jodi cotton India te branded hoy, thale we can have more and more export because we can label that this is the type of cotton. This has a particular quality. Okay. So implementation will be on blockchain technology. Jeta the toh ma different block hai, different information will be stored and so that hack proof. or tweaking proof of it and easily it will be decentralized so anybody can use it to store their information kasturi cotton is premium quality cotton produced in india with 100% traceability and certification because when you want to export there are certain things like is it sustainable is it having phyto uh, sanitary sanitary rules applicable so ei sob jinish dekhte hoy that these are not having gmos okay जेनेटिकाली मडिफाइड अर्गानिजम अनेक किचुई थे तो मध्य इफ यू कैन ट्रेस इट्स लोकेशन इफ यू कैन ट्रेस दि वे इट हेज बीन ब्रट इन टू दि सिसटेम सो यू उल अंडारस्टैंड व्हाट इट इज एक्सपोर्ट क्वालिटी और नट सो कटन इज एक्चुअली एन इम्पर्टेंट फाइवर एंड कैश क्रप विच प्लेज अ मेजर रोल इन इंडस्ट्रियल रिवल्यूशन अफ इंडिया एंड रईट नाउ इन दि एग्रिकलचरल इकोनॉमी एंड इंडस्ट्रीज अफ इंडिया सो स्टार्टिंग फ्रम दि एनशियन टाइम्स तुम्हें देखो इंडिया वज एक्चुअली exporting cotton and our cotton was very very highly in demand especially the calicos india is the largest producer and third largest exporter of cotton so we can actually increase our export also it produces 6 million tons of cotton every year which is about 23% of the world's production cotton jodi amra india te dekhi so gujarat e sobtheke beshi production hoy now top producing countries er moddhe mane basically ara export korche china india and usa okay so gujarat e the production is highest then you have maharashtra telangana and likewise read it omkareshwar floating solar plant so this has been done in madhya pradesh and it is the biggest uh, floating solar plant in india te. so the sjvn limited is a mini run schedule a listed central public sector undertaking under the ministry of power so don't forget this is not under the ministry of new renewable because solar is new renewable you may get confused it's under the ministry of power so you see this this will be a floating solar plant so what are the benefits first of all it is sustainable because it's using solar power second hoche because it's floating eta kono tomar sherokom jayga nichche na in the land and that is why you don't have to displace people to make this plant third hoche je but you have to look into the pros and cons and environmental assessment jole niche je prani ra ache mach and the phytoplanktons we have to look 
they are not hampered by it. India will start UPI payment service in Maldives. So see, a MOU has been signed that India will start the UPI service in Maldives, which is regulated by the National Payments Corporation of India. So what is basically UPI? Real-time cash transfer within any bank. So if you go to Maldives, you can use it. Yes. And uh, under this, this becomes very easy for you to uh, do business because you can transfer the cash in a real-time basis. So you go through this one. So this was developed by NPCI in the year 2016. And also it is based on the IMPS, that is Immediate Payment Service, which is that infrastructure, which is the real-time payment. And previously, 1 lakh was allowed. Right now, 5 lakh has been allowed under UPI. Okay, 5 lakh has been allowed under UPI. That you can do a transaction of 5 lakh. So, this is basically the place of Maldives. And you should know that Maldives, which is the lowest lying country in the world. Maldives is near the Kerala state. Right. So, these are the things. And Maldives and Lakhadip, those are part of the same archipelago. Shem Deep Punjor part. Current status of renewable energy in India. Let's look into this. This is a, a way that you have to memorize. India ranks fourth in the world in terms of installed renewable capacity. Right? Renewable energy capacity. Fourth in the world in wind energy and fifth in solar photovoltaic energy installers. Right? India has an installed capacity of 46.65 gigawatt of wind energy, 85.47 gigawatt of solar voltaic energy but these two are very important these two you have to do for the first time in india the installed capacity of energy from non-fossil fuel has crossed the 200 gigawatt very very important so you see if you look into this uh, renewable energy share solar then you have wind you should remember cone state solar is the highest cone state wind is the highest all this can be also a question okay monkey pox m pox also one thing, yes, since we are talking about WBCs, recently DVC, Damodar Valley Corporation is floating solar power plants and that is a very good initiative with respect to the sustainable energy inculcation into the GDP, right? Monkeypox. So, who has actually called emergency meeting for MPOX and recently, Amra Dekhchi India, we are having like a sus suspected cases, jekhane tomar foreign travelers take quarantine kora hoye chai. So, the surge of cases basically started from Congo and this disease has actually started in the African nation of DRC, Democratic Republic of Congo. So, it is a rare infection and mode of uh, like propagation is not properly known. Mostly we think that it is done by sexual transmission. First time this was in the colonies of monkeys and then it came to humans by zoonosis. So, this is a double stranded DNA virus, very important because most of the viruses are RNA virus, this is DNA virus. The name of the virus is monkeypox, belongs to the orthopox virus genus or pox virus family. Okay. And this is a zoonotic, yes, we have understood it mostly tropical hai. And other vectors are squirrels, gambian rats, dormice, and some species of monkeys too. Covered system. So Indian Railways is actually using 10,000 locomotives to equip it with the coverage 4. So basically what is coverage 4? Coverage is Mane Hoche Dharo Tomar. Recently we have seen a lot of train accidents. A rail is moving. A train is moving. Shamne Jodi Kichu Thakke Ya Kono Problem Thakke It will stop. How it will detect? By using radio frequency identification. So RFID use Korbe. Also we use RFID when we use the first tax in our car. So similar way it will work. Okay. So that is the thing. And this is done by, this has been developed by this technology, RDSO, Research Design and Standard Organization, which is part of the Indian industry, that is Indian Railways. Okay. And uh, it is an electronic component of RFID devices, which will actually help on the installed locomotive and signaling system as well as the tracks. Okay. And this is the safety integrity level 4 standard. Muhammad Yunus has been appointed as the leader of Bangladesh interim government. This is important. So after Sheikh Hasina quits the state, I mean country, Yunus has been appointed as the part of it. Challa Srinivas Alu Shetty appointed as the new chairman of SBI. Remember this? Okay, that's Challa Srinivas Alu Shetty has been appointed as the new chairman of SBI. Former West Bengal CM Buddha Dev Bhattacharya passes away. 
Buddhadev Bhattacharya is known for the industrial revolution in Bengal. We know that. And also after he became the chief minister, Bengal's economy improved a lot. And also a lot of investment, different MNCs came to West Bengal with his ideas. Kamal Madhuri, recently Tunisian President K. Said has actually appointed Kamal Madhuri as the new Prime Minister of Tunisia. Tunisia is a country in Africa. So, India is a Africa that is different uh, synergizing of relationship. That is why it is important that we know the Africa and its state of affairs. So, it is in the north of the African country. The countries bordering it is Algeria and Libya. Also, you see the capital is Tunis. Currency is Tunisian dinar, TND. <coughs> Tunisia is having its border with Mediterranean Sea. First Bimstek Business Summit has been held in New Delhi. So basically, Bimstek is Bay of Bengal Initiative for Multisectoral Technical and Economic Cooperation. It came to helm in the year of 1997. Our headquarters was in Bangladesh in Dhaka. Okay, so basically, SARC was not working because Pakistan's presence and Pakistan's hostility towards India. So that is why a different group was created that is Bimstek. Members, it's important Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, India, then you have Myanmar, Nepal, Bhutan, Thailand. Okay. And these names are very, very important. So you have basically seven countries to remember. Asian Indian Trade in Goods Agreement, Atiga. So basically, fifth meeting on Atiga Joint Committee to review the Atiga was held in Asian Secretariat that is in Jakarta in Indonesia. So you can get this Asian quarter countries, which is 10 countries. All names are important starting from Myanmar to you go to the country of Philippines. All names are important. Firstly, mainland J countries, Shegloka remember Kurbe. Then you go to the countries which are in islands like Indonesia, Malaysia, right? So you have to remember that. Second, the ASEAN, this basically ASEAN is headquartered in. Jakarta in Indonesia. This can also be a question. So, the agreement was signed in 2009. The main objective is to ensure free flow of goods across the region. See, here service is not one thing. And that is why India did not even sign the RCEA. Because RCEA, RCEA was also a free trade agreement. Goods was one of the things, but services were not. But India, the service sector is more flourished. If we export service, we will be better off. If people go from our countries to other countries to work, that is better. But service was not part of it. Ticket. And that is why we did not sign RCEF. And we are talking on Edika that how we can reduce the trade barriers. Mane hoche je tumar customs ache, kimba other laws ache with respect to trades, madab customs, ya non uh, tariff related barriers. We will talk on that. So, as a result, trade will increase and vast market and other economic opportunities will be available for business. Ticket. So, ASEAN is. The idea of ASEAN is one vision, one identity, and one community. So, ASEAN is Southeast Asia, the JJ countries, those are part of it. Capital is, uh, sorry, the he headquarter is in Jakarta, in the capital of Indonesia. So, basically, this is for security, economy, people to people contact, infrastructure, technology, social issues. Okay. Now, what are the countries? Let's look. So, starting, this is the bordering country of India, Myanmar. So then which countries else you have? You have the Myanmar, Thailand, Laos, Cambodia, Vietnam. Then moving to the southern part, Malaysia, Indonesia, Brunei, and then you have Philippines. So here you have three countries. Here you have three countries. Try to remember it. And Singapore too. Okay. Okay. <coughs> now, President Draupadi Murmu receives Fiji's highest civilian honor. And the honor name is Companion, the Order of Fiji. So Fiji, Kothai, Fiji is the state in the part of the Oceania countries, right? It is part of the Melanesia. So, it is the first Indian of India, uh, it is the first visit of Indian head of state to the island of nation. Prime Minister Narendra Modi was also conferred this highest civilian award in 2023. Okay, but Dorpati Munmuji has visited Fiji. So, that is the unique thing. Okay, so Fiji is a country here, it is part of the Melanesia in the southern Pacific Ocean. Uh, this is the Pacific Ocean and it is a southern part of, you can take the word equator, Jolia, the southern part of equator. So that is the thing. Here we have three groups, the Melanesia, Micronesia, Polynesia. So different countries are there. Highest civilian honor, grand color of the order of Timor, let's say. So see, Timor, let's say, is a country in the Indo-Pacific region, especially in the Pacific region. And uh, we are looking to this country of uh, Philippines. So it is located, look into the map. And Timor, let's say, the president, 
Jos Ramohorta, he has actually conferred this grand collar of the order of Taimur Lidse to President Draupadi Murmu. Okay. So, the name of the president is important, Jos Ramohorta, which can be also be a question. Parvat Pahar military exercise, so this is nothing but a military exercise that was conducted in the UT of Ladakh. Why is it important? Because it is a high altitude warfare operation practice. So, this is what's kind of a tactile mission to look. Jodi kono war hoi, to amra auto high altitude ki baba operate kono. So, related to that because it is close to the Chinese border, India China border, and the zone which is the LAC, right? The line of actual control. Pinaka MK3. So, basically, DRDO is actually has actually developed this new weapon, the Pinaka MK3. And this is also getting under development and different uh, technologies are getting under it. So, this is basically what this is a lethal responsive fire against variety of area targets such as exposed enemy troops, armor, soft skin vehicles, communication centers, air terminal complex, and fuel and ammunition dumps. So, Jerukum Balako strike ABC. So, it can help some strikes like that. Okay, exercise Mitra Shakti, so Sri Lankan and Indian Army is going for exercise Mitra Shakti. Exercise Udara Shakti, let's look into. So, this is between India and Royal Malaysian Army, Air Forces. Okay. Indian Air Force and Royal Malaysian Air Forces. So, this is a joint exercise. This is a bilateral exercise. Now, you can read the things like the uh, <coughs> SUM-30, MKM has uh, got there and also Indian Air Force. SUMKI fighters has got there. So, Shukhoi best. So, you can read all these things by yourself. India releases commemorative poster stamp for Paris Olympics. This is important. So, we have basically put a stamp by the Department of Post has done it, and this is to commemorate the 33rd Summer Olympics being held in Paris in France. The Department of Post comes under the Union Ministry of Communication, right? So that you have to know. And uh, different Olympic sports, as you know, it is a the stamp effect four Olympic sports javelin, field hockey, sailing, and table tennis. So, this is basically the stamp. Okay, just look into it. We have the four sports here. Okay. India flag bearer at the Paris Olympics closing ceremony. So, this we have already done. We have read it. Manu Bakar was there, Pia Shrijas was there. Okay. Vinesh Fogat has been disqualified because of 500 gram extra weight right from the 50 kg category okay dinesh kartik appointed as ambassador of sa south asia 20 league so this is something so south african tournament sorry south african 20 league so he kartik is the first indian player to be associated with this tournament the sa 20 league is south african tournament kartik will once again be seen in playing in the t20 league in the sa 20 neeraj chopra you see he has won the paris olympics uh, the silver medal, the only one person to win the silver medal. Men's hockey team, the bronze medal. Then you have Aman Sherawat. He has also won the bronze medal in the men's freestyle 57 kg weight category in Paris Olympics. Okay. So, he has defeated Ryan Toy Cruz of Puerto Rico. So, just go through this once. So, these are the things we had to discuss and we have also discussed Paris Olympics will be one of the things. So, please prepare properly. If you have some doubt, as I have said, again, I will give you my telegram link that is t.me slash UPS Kinkini UPSC, right? Just a second. t.me slash Kinkini UPSC. So, you can connect and for more MCQs and this document. As I said when the video started that the 10th foundation day offer is here which is the 10 sal be missile offer. Jetter under it to me double validity plus extra discount part show. On the top of it, you can use my code KM Life for even better discounts. How do you subscribe this course? Study IQ website is there. Scroll down a bit. State PSC section is there. Tap on it. Click it. You can take it to me. Jeep particular PSC te jete chao. In case WBCS, go to the West Bengal PSC section. Look into the brochure what we are providing like the live classes, the recorded classes also. It's in bilingual languages. Then you have what? Then you have mentorship. You also have what? You have the answer writing module. You have the test module. And you have crux and also handwritten notes. This is just to mention some of the part. You can look into the whole brochure. You will get a better idea. 
so hurry up because aj offer this is only valid for the 10 foundation day so it won't last for long so use this opportunity let us be part of your preparation thank you